Hello and welcome to the SAP Business One Service Layer Introduction eLearning Session. My name is Trinidad Martinez and I'm part of the SAP Business One Solution Architects. The main objective of this session is to give you an overview of the SAP Business One Service Layer so you understand what is it and how to access more detailed documentation. We will also talk about SAP Business One Service Layer licensing. We will start with the SAP Business One Service Layer definition. We will continue by describing where to find the documentation. Also, some solution examples are provided. Last session, we describe the licensing. Before we start with the Service Layer definition, I would like to introduce some terminology and abbreviations that will be mentioned during this session. Please come back to this slide at any point if you need clarifications. More details can, of course, be found by searching those terms in the Internet. Let's now start with the definition of the SAP Business One service layer. Those of you who have already developed SAP Business One extensions have already seen this picture representing SAP Business One extensibility blocks. On the lower level, we can see SAP Business One Core can run in on-premise and also cloud environments, as well as on top of Microsoft SQL Server and SAP HANA databases. On top of the SAP Business One Core, three blue blocks represent the framework, APIs, and tools available to extend SAP Business One Core functionality. SDK Studio provides a set of tools and APIs to extend SAP Business One Core functionality with add-ons. The integration framework provides a framework to integrate SAP Business One with other applications. And the third block is referring to SAP Business One Service Layer API that will be covered in this session. On top of our three extensibility blocks, we can find different industries, solutions, and extensions, mobile applications, Arriva integration scenarios, etc., that are developed either by SAP or SAP partners with the usage of the extensibility APIs and the integration framework. So what is the service layer? Service layer is the new extensibility API for consuming SAP Business One data and services. It is based on core protocols as HTTP and OData. It is highly scalable as designed with parallel processing and highly available as implementing load balancing. Service layer is available since the SAP Business One 9.1 version for SAP HANA release. The goal of the service layer is to ease the development of mobile and web applications connecting to SAP Business One data and services also provides high volume to support new customer segments and industries. And as running on top of SAP HANA, developers can take advantage of a single box for transactional and analytic operations, as well as leverage the SAP HANA development environment. Let's take a quick look at the architecture. Service layer is running on Linux. It encapsulates SAP Business One business logic inside the over server DLL in the form of C++ business objects and services. The business logic is of course the same as the SAP Business One client and the API business logic. Communication between service layer and the SAP HANA physical tables is done via SAP HANA ODVC drivers. On top of the OB server, the OData parser, the DI core, the session manager, and other services allow applications to access service layer business objects and services using HTTPS and OData. By default, service layer is configured as a load balancing cluster. A central load balancer distributes HTTP loads among its working nodes according to the number of requests. In addition, Service Layer implements sticky sessions to avoid repeated logins. Same session request will always be forwarded to the same working node. In an exceptional case, if the load balancer detects that one of its nodes has failed, it forwards subsequent requests to another valid node. The receiving node 
validates the session without interrupting the user actions or asking for user credentials. End users will not notice the internal node failure. Each working node will run several processes in parallel, one process per session, until the configured limit has been reached, in which case one process will support more than one session. Which documents are available for service layer and where to find them? The service layer installation gives you direct access to the documentation on the server where the load balancer is installed. Just enter your server name and port defined at the service layer installation. By default, the port number is 50,000. Don't forget to use HTTPS in the link. Two documents are accessible, the user manual and the API reference. The user manual covers the installation, configuration and consumption of the service layer API. This manual is also available by searching on the Partner Edge portal the document named Working with SAP Business One Service Layer. The API reference document lists the entities, also named as objects, and services exposed by the service layer, as well as the options and operations that can be performed on each one of them. Service layer exposes SAP Business One business logic and data. The full list of objects and services, including all the properties and methods, are provided by the metadata file. To access the metadata file, use the link provided in this page, customized with your service layer server name and port. Let's have a look now to some solutions we have built on top of the SAP Business One service layer. The SAP Business One Assistant solution shows the Amazon Alexa device making voice activated requests to SAP Business One. Based on the request received, data will be retrieved and transactions will be posted to SAP Business One via service layer. For example, when we say, buy me three packs of printer paper to Alexa, a new sales order will be created automatically with this solution in Business One via the service layer. Please note that this is a demo solution provided as is without further support. For more details on this solution, please check the SAP community blog provided on this page. B1 Beacons for Retail is a solution demonstrated at the SMB Innovation Summit 2017. This solution generates personalized offers to customers on their mobile phones. The offers are based on their location in the shop as well as their SAP Business One buying history. Beacons are used to detect customers' location. Customers can accept the offers and purchase the proposed items as well as other items in the shop without going to the cashier. The service layer is used to create the orders in SAP Business One for each specific customer. This solution was developed and implemented on the SAP Cloud Platform. It is a loosely coupled solution using SAP Cloud services like Internet of Things, Push Notification, SAP HANA Access Engine, and SAP HANA Database. Please note that this is a demo solution provided as is without further support. For more details on this solution, please check the URL provided here pointing to an SAP community blog. Now let's understand how SAP Business One service layer is licensed. To use the service layer, you require either an SAP Business One license for each one of the users connected via the service layer, or a license based on the number of cores the service layer is running on. Same license model as for the DA server license component. In this slide, you can see different solution requirements examples and the license required on each case for solutions developed with DA API, DA server, integration framework, and service layer. 
If we take the case of a solution where only 10 users create sales orders from a screen designed by an SAP partner connecting to SAP Business One via service layer, second line on the table, if the customer already has 10 professional or limited license, no extra licenses need to be purchased. If the customer only has five professional licenses, for example, he will require to buy either five indirect access user licenses or a number of DI API server CPU cores. If we take now the example of a solution where an undetermined number of users create sales orders from a screen designed by an SAP partner connecting to SAP Business One via service layer. In this case, the best option will be to buy a number of DI server CPU cores instead of buying indirect access, limited or professional licenses if they are not required for other functionality in SAP Business One. You can get this slide as well as more detailed information on the SAP Business One licenses in the Banner Edge licensing documentation link provided in this slide. We have now completed the SAP Business One service layer introduction session. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you are motivated to continue with the following e-learning sessions. Thank you for your participation and goodbye.